What's up guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Selena Ryden. I am a nail tech. I'm also an international educator and ambassador for the nail brand Light Elegance. And in this video, I'm actually going to start with a new mini series on my channel. And it's going to be about how to take pictures of your nails. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I post new videos every single week and share it with your friends if you want to. In this video series, I'm gonna first talk about why I fake my nail pictures. Next video is gonna be about how to actually take pictures. So we're gonna talk about cameras, lighting, uh, posing, everything you need to know. Third video is gonna be about how to edit that picture to make it look as good as it possibly can. But let's get right into this video and talk about why I fake uh -oh. my nail pictures. So there's a reason why I've decided to do this and obviously it's because I've had a lot of questions on my social media on what camera do I use, what apps do I use, how do I edit my pictures and so on and so on and so on. So I figured well let's just do it. Another thing is that I've seen people on social media kind of talking down people who actually take time to edit their pictures like it like they're wasting their time like I I've, I've got better things to do than put effort into my pictures so this is something that I really want to address first of all this is one comment that I've had photoshopping your nails is false advertising we need to address something else before moving into why you should work on your nail pictures one photoshop is a program in that program you edit photos so when you say photoshopping blah 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 it kind of has this uh bad undertone to it do you get what i mean like you you kind of think about um, making booties bigger or uh, your waist smaller or adding a finger to your nails or exchanging the nails on the hand and make it fake. Photoshopping is a photo editing program. You can adjust brightness, contrast, sharpness, anything you would do in a phone app. So photoshopping doesn't mean faking a picture like adding something or removing something so let's make that clear to start with photoshop is a program and then you edit your pictures so if you are editing your pictures in an app on your phone you're not photoshopping your picture you're editing your picture in a photo app unless it's photoshop in the app but you, you know you get me it's kind of like you know shellac is a brand and then you do nail polish it's the same thing photoshop edit pictures shellac gel polish another thing we need to consider is that when you look at a picture it is a flat image like this when you look at nails in real life, we're looking at it 3D surround everything. So when you look at a picture, you want to make sure that you can transform that depth to the picture itself. And that's hard, but it is important because a flat image is not gonna draw attention. People are not gonna understand how beautiful the nails are so then we have these apps or programs to help us with that the important thing is try to make the picture look as lifelike as possible so another thing to think about is that the camera doesn't always pick up the right colors in your set so for example if you have a red set that is not going to transform into the picture at all because the camera has a hard time picking up red tones or really like neon uh pinks for example so what you need to do is to go to your app 
or program and tweak the colors to make sure that you have the right color on your picture so you won't trick your clients to something else. For example, if I take a picture of a red set, they will probably look a little bit orange. So if I post that picture and I have a client coming in saying, oh, I really want that orange color, I'm gonna be, hey, sorry, you know, it's, it's the camera, I can't do anything about it. So what is actually a false advertising in that scenario? Next thing to keep in mind is that your pictures is the face of your business. If you want to draw more attention, if you want to get more clients, if you want to build up your brand, you need to address this and take time to edit your pictures. There are easy and fast ways to do that. You don't have to have a camera like me, like in Nikon. You can use your smartphone and you can use apps in your smartphone. You can have that picture ready in five minutes. So it is that simple, but those little tweaks will make all the difference. So what you're doing is that you're being business minded. And that is so important if you want to make it in the nail industry, because there are so many pictures uh, being thrown at us every single day on social media, on YouTube, on, you know, everywhere. If you want to take it a step further, you can absolutely, and I support this, remove blemishes or things on the client's hands that is going to draw the wrong type of attention. So for example, I have a client and she comes in, she has really been down in cuticles. So she has little cuts here and there. You are being business smart if you try to remove that. It's not faking. It's making sure that people are not getting stuck on those imperfections that you had nothing to do with. They're gonna look at that and the nails are gonna be black in their minds. They're gonna be gone. They're not gonna see the work that you've been working on for hours. They're just gonna see those little cuts and then they're gonna come and be like, what about those cuts? Did you cut her? Are you, you're not a good nail tech, blah, 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 blah. So that's another thing. It's not faking. You wanna make sure that your work is put out there and people actually look at it. If the client has something on her hands, remove it because it's gonna draw the wrong type of tension. I have another thing, like if you do, uh, if you do sugar nails, uh, you know, when you sprinkle glitter on the nail, obviously it's gonna be everywhere. It's gonna be all over the hands. But what I do is that I actually ask my client to go and wash her hands before I take the picture. But you're gonna have little glitter thingies all over the finger. Just remove that because it's gonna look messy. Try to remove everything as you when you see it, when you take the picture. Sometimes you miss it. You have a little fuss thingy somewhere. You have a little black spot. Remove it. In, if you have an app, I'm gonna actually show you that in uh, the third video. Don't feel like you're faking the picture. Just remove it and make sure that people notice your nail work and not the little glitter spots. So here you have an example of a picture that I've been editing. The before picture comes straight out of my Nikon and the after picture I've been working and doing some editing with it. So you can see that it's not about faking anything. This is just enhancing what I already have and try to recreate what I see in real life. Last thing, super important, do your own thing. I know that a lot of you want to have my secret tips and tricks on how I personally edit and take my pictures. <laughs> Trust me, you're going to get a lot of tips and tricks, but you still want to keep in mind that you want to make it your own thing. So after you've watched these videos, hopefully you're going to feel a little bit more confident about it and try out your thing. Well, my goal is that I want to push you in the right direction and help you build your own brand with your own signature pictures. So the next video in this series is going to be about how to actually take 
the picture. We're gonna talk about lighting, cameras, poses, everything you need to know. And if there's something you feel like you wanna add to that video, please, you know, comment below. I am so excited to start this journey with you guys. And please leave a comment if you have any suggestions on what you would like me to add into the videos. And together we'll absolutely kick your nail game up to the next level. If you are just as excited about this as I am, you know, please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Take care guys. Thank <laughs> you.